Hello everyone, I'm Charu, a yoga coach, and we're here with Vivek Ji from Rishikesh, India, who's a yoga master, and more. Namaste Vivek Ji, namaste everyone for namaste. joining us today. So today we're celebrating International Yoga Day, and thanks everyone for joining us in this celebration. We're going to actually do some practice. We're going to do a little bit of yoga breathing. We're also going to do a short meditation that uh, Vivekji will finish us off with. So if we just talk about, you know, yoga day, just in a very simple uh, explanation, it's a day to take care of yourself. It's a day to connect to yourself. So do something that is spiritual, do something that takes care of your mind, your health, your body, you know, some kind of mind, body, spiritual connection. So the beautiful thing is a lot of all over the world, people are celebrating International Yoga Day, Canada, US, India, Europe, etc. And in all their different time zones. So we, this is a beautiful group we have here. We've got people from all different, uh, three, four different time zones going on, joining us on International Yoga Day 2022. And looking forward to practicing with you guys. The point is to bring in some good vibes, positive energy, take you to a higher vibrational state, at least bring in something that connects you to yourself. Uh, so we're going to initiate that for you guys by doing some yoga breathing, some, you know, gentle meditation. And uh, even on your own, you know, you can, you can do anything that you feel connects you to yourself, whether you want to do some physical yoga exercise, you want to chant Om or some other mantras, maybe you want to, you have the Gita book, you're reading an excerpt or a chapter from the Gita, anything that uh, takes you takes you within, as we've been speaking about lately. So Vivekji, maybe if you want to expand a little bit about International Yoga Day before we start our practices. So first of all, uh, namaste to everyone who is joining us today for this eighth International Yoga Day celebration. So namaste, because the, today is the 21st June and 21st June is the biggest day. And it is also the birthday of yoga, the birthday of yoga. Because it is said that the knowledge of yoga from St. Patanjali came on this day. That's why 21st June they select to celebrate yoga day. It is the biggest day also. The biggest day. So if it, the day is big, more people at more time can you know, practice yoga, I think. Maybe this is also one of the reason, or maybe people may have their own reason. But uh, as I know, it is because of the birthday of yoga practice. So today we are going to do some breathing exercise with uh, Charuji, and later I will do some meditation technique to practice. And uh, so now we will just start with the three Om. We will just close the eyes, inhale deep, and while exhaling, we will chant Om three times, and then Charuji will start the breathing exercise. So wherever you are, just sit comfortably. If you are on the bed, on the mat, on sofa, wherever you are, just sit comfortably, relax. And these uh, both hands, you can put on your lap or knee or something like that. And then close eyes, take a deep breath in and we chant over. for starting us off with OM. It's always a beautiful way to start. Uh, I, I usually like to start with uh, OM because it's very centering, very grounding. So if nothing else, you can, uh, you know, chant on OM. You, if you don't feel like doing OM, 
You can do all anything that brings you into that very nice sound and vibrational energy. Okay, so um, the yoga breathing that I thought that we could do today, one of my favorites is ocean breathing. I really love it. And uh, the name is beautiful and also known as Ujjayi breathing or victorious breath. So it has many names. You know, sometimes we get confused because one breathing or one yoga pose has so many uh, different names. Doesn't matter what the name is, it's what you're doing with it, how you practice it, okay? So <clears throat> for ocean breathing, what we're actually doing is we're restricting. We're restricting the throat and there's like a valve at the back of the throat, the glottis. So it's like we're closing off that valve. And when we do that, what happens is that we are actually relaxing our autonomic, our nervous system. And we want to work on the parasympathetic nervous system, which I talk about a lot in you know, my sessions and videos and so on, is that we want that to kick in because there's the sympathetic nervous system, which is your active and rush rush and hustle state. And then there's the parasympathetic, which is rest, digest. And that is what yoga breathing is all about. So yoga breathing is to uh, get you to become more in a state of a yogi, you know, become more like that calm, cool, collected state. No matter what you're doing, you're always operating from there. So let's do some ocean breathing. If you are new to ocean breathing and you're not really getting it today, don't worry about it. You know, we'll be doing a lot more practice. So just to start, so I just want everyone to put their hand out in front of them, okay? And just pretend this is like a, like a window or like a mirror. And we're gonna fog it up with our breath. So you're gonna keep the mouth open and just blow on your hand. <sighs> Exhale on your hand and then inhale. <sighs> Not as easy, right? The exhale is much easier. Let's try again. And then inhale. Okay, so now that same feeling that you got, I want you to do it with the mouth closed. So now we're gonna try to close your mouth. If you find it difficult to keep the mouth closed, you can keep your mouth open, all right? So with the mouth closed, we're focusing on just the restriction of the throat. So when we inhale, there's a sound, right? Like a hissing, hissing sound. And when we exhale, same thing, there's that hissing sound. It feels cool on the inhale and warm and moist on the exhale. Now I want you to try not to move your upper body too much. So try not to do this. You know, just try to, the, of course, the shoulders will raise a little in a natural way, but don't over raise yourself, okay? Let's see if we can do 10 of these. Ocean breathing, Ujjayi breathing. Eyes opened or closed, however you like. and make sure you fully exhale all the air before you take that inhale. So there's a slight pause after the exhale. Few more.
One more. Good, completely relax your breath back to normal breathing. And just see how you feel. There's probably a shift in your energies, how you emotionally feel, how you're thinking before we started and after we did ocean breathing. There's a settling. Vivekji, what do you think? Should we try one more, one more round of ocean breathing? Yes, and then you can also do other kind of meditation with him because we have very less time. Sure. Okay, so, <clears throat> so that's your ocean breathing. Now we're gonna do a, a very simple balance breathing, okay? So when we say balance, we all need balance in everything. Balance of our thinking, balance of our body, balance of our uh, hot and cold, like sun and moon, male and female, everything's balanced, night and day. So even in our breathing, there's balance because there's balance of inhale and exhale, inhalation, exhalation. Most people, they think it's only about the inhale, but that's wrong. You need the exhale just as much as you need the inhale. And yoga breathing is about the exhale because that's where things come to relax. So we're going to do a 4-4 four, four balance breathing. So when I say 4-4, four, four, it just means we're going to inhale for four and we're going to exhale for four seconds. You don't have to worry about counting. I will count for you. We'll do 10 rounds of 4-4 four, four balance breathing. If you like, because we just did ocean breathing, you can do ocean breathing while you're doing the 4-4 uh, four, four inhale, exhale. If you find it's too much for you, no problem, then just do normal 4-4 four, four balance breathing. Okay, so here we go. You'll see my hand move up and down in case you are looking at the screen and peeking, <laughs> but if your eyes are closed or open, uh, however you feel comfortable. Four, four balance breathing. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One more. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Relax the breath. Relax the body. Just do a quick body check. Make sure that everything is comfortable. Shoulders are dropped. Breath is at ease. Body is comfortable. Great. You did amazing. You guys uh, are good at breathing. Good. 
it's not as easy as, as it seems sometimes because we do have to, you know, you're, you're trying to follow my, my count. And when you're not used to breathing in this technical way, uh, it takes some practice. It's, so it's, it's meditative. Breathing is also meditative because it takes some attention. Great. That was wonderful. Thank you, guys. I'm glad I got to share that. Thank you. So this is three meditative breathing some exercise. And whenever people want to do meditation, they direct want to go for meditation practice. And then they think that they are not able to do because they are not ready. They do not prepare themselves. So for preparation, first you do some pre-meditative postures also, asana, then pre-meditative breathing, which is calming, balancing, stabilizing, and then you do some meditation practice. So we will talk less and do more because we have limited time. <laughs> uh, just listen to my voice, sit in any comfortable position wherever you are. If you are on the sofa, bed, chair, wherever you are, sit in any comfortable position. In that position that you can, are not allowed to move for next two, three to four minutes, five minutes. You are not allowed to move in that position. Take that position. In case you want to lie down, you lie down. You want to sit in comfortable manner with a you know, pillow on the backside or something like that cushion or is okay. No worry. So you just have to do nothing. Just listen to my voice and follow my voice. And if you are not able to understand any of my instruction or you know any of my word or something, no worry. Just look for the next one, next instruction. Okay. So just close your eyes. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. If any words are coming to your ears, if any sounds are coming to your ears, let them come and go away. Do not indulge with them. Do not start developing. Don't get engaged with them. If any smell is coming to your nostrils, your nose. Let it come and go. Let it come and go. Do not start developing them. Do not start thinking about. If any thoughts are coming to you, let them come and go away. Let them come and go away. Do not start developing them. Do not start thinking about them. Do not get indulged. If any stress, pain, irritation is happening to your body, let it come and go. Don't facilitate it. Do not move yourself in order to facilitate it. If it is increasing, let it increase. If it is decreasing, let it decrease. Doing nothing 
is the technique here absolutely doing nothing just witnessing this very moment of your life is never ever going to come again in our life just witness it be the witness of the moment this is the witness meditation technique don't get involved don't get engaged no action no reaction i am going to be silent for a couple of minutes just feel all my words slowly slowly trying to relax rub your palms put them on your face again rub your palms put them on your eye one more time rub your palms cover your eye open your eye inside the palm and slowly slowly take your palm away from the hand so this is sakshi dhyan sakshi dhyan witness the moment our problem is that any moment anything happen any our sense get engaged in anything and we start developing it thinking about it expanding it this sound is coming from there this smell is coming from there this is that doing nothing not easy i know it's not easy but by practice and practice and practice and practice we can make ourselves perfect in anything it may take months it may take years to depends how regular how consistent persistent continuous your practice is so with this uh, technique we are about to finish it uh, they just give some few minutes last to if anybody want to say anything ask anything you can unmute yourself and say what you want to say if there is something possible other way Yes. Yeah, please share your your feelings, your comments. Everybody's so relaxed. <laughs>
That's great. When we are energized and relaxed at same time, it's the best situation for us to be in. You should be energized also and same time relaxed also. Then you are in alpha stage of brain waves. When your brain waves are in alpha stage, that's the best for us to be in. So with the, this eighth International Yoga Day, this small workshop with you is a very, very, very nice. I feel very honored that you all from different parts of the world are gathered here. And thanks to Charuji also to support and to organize all this. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Vivek Ji. Thank you, Charu. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. It was very exciting. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.